Hello, I'm Claire Allen. I'm a MasterChef Top 9 contestant, a blogger, food entertainer, an entrepreneur, and the skinny chef on the live theatre show, Short Chef Skinny Chef. Welcome to my cooking series, The Foodie in Love, where I will take you on a culinary journey which will reawaken your flavorful love affair with food. I will be fusing family recipes with my well-balanced, wholesome approach to preparing meals, allowing guests to realize the true benefit of cooking from the heart. Hello, today we're making poached pears. The slightest chance of cold, rainy weather, I love to rush home and make blue vine. It reminds me of Paris and cold, wet, rainy days in London. Wherever I went in Europe or the UK, I could get mulled wine. Blue vine. It smells like a cup of Christmas. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous spices and flavors. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can take your blue vine recipe and make poached pears. All you're gonna need is some red wine, water, caster sugar, oranges, cinnamon sticks, cloves, some star anise, and of course, pears. Take a small to medium pot and put it on a medium heat. You will need two glasses of red wine, use your favorite, a glass of water, half a cup of sugar, or caster sugar as I'm using. Now we add a cinnamon stick, a few cloves, star anise, a couple more cloves, a little bit of extra flavor, and this is where you get that Christmas rich, deep, complex flavors. It's so beautiful. Now to add the orange. I'm gonna take a small orange. You can take half a large orange, but go with taste. I'm just going to slice this in half. I'm gonna add all the juice, and I'm actually gonna take the whole oranges and put it in. Just add to the flavor. You can add a little bit of rind. It's just about having some fun. I always say in my live demos, don't be afraid to play around with your recipes. Next time you make it, your oranges will be a little bit different. It'll play, always taste a little bit different, but that's okay. So like I said, I'm gonna squeeze out my orange juice, oh, and I'm gonna actually just put this in the pot and I'm bringing it to a boil. So all I've done is I've peeled my pears and I've sliced them in half and I'm going to add them to the pot. Take your pears and submerge them into your beautiful bubbling glue vine mixture. If, they don't com if they're not completely submerged, don't worry, you can just turn them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit lower and I leave this to simmer for 20 minutes. Remove your pears from the liquid and half of your glue vine. I see a mug of glue vine in my future. So to serve, I'm going to take some beautiful Greek yogurt and just put that into a bowl. A couple of tablespoons, and then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon, just add a little bit of extra flavor. I'm going to mix that up nicely. Oh, and this is going to go so well. And I'm going to just take this beautiful little apple bowl, and I'm going to make a little roll to poach my pea on top. And there we go, and then I've got this beautiful poached pea. I've still got the the core in, and I think that's just absolutely gorgeous. So I've got this beautiful pear, still got the stalk in, and it looks gorgeous. Now I'm gonna add some of that reduced red wine syrup. So pour some of your gorgeous warm syrup all over your pears. Oh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And there you have it. Beautifully poached pears and glue vine. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For full recipes, visit www.foodislove.co.za. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram under Claire Allen underscore SA or on Facebook under MasterChef SA Claire Allen. Always remember, food is love.